there was another giant of chemistry ready to make his contribution to the world, Al-Kindi, recognized as one of the 12 greatest minds in history. A philosopher, chemist, and a prized member of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad, Al-Kindi pioneered the field of pharmacology and applied chemistry. As a critical scientist, he closely examined the impact of drugs on living organisms, and by applying mathematics to chemistry, he determined effective drug dosages, laying the foundation for medical formulary. Thus, medicines became accessible to ordinary people as Muslim chemists set up the first pharmacies and dispensaries. They also wrote encyclopedias on pharmacology, sharing healing remedies, prescribing dosages, applications, and their effects. Chemistry also set a new standard in sword making with the legendary Damascus steel sword. This sword could cut through other metals and still retain its sharpness. Researchers are only now beginning to understand what made this steel so strong. The third giant of chemistry, Al-Razi, a pioneering physician, brought a new modern approach to the science of chemistry, enriching its contribution to society. Al-Razi was the first chemist to set up a modern laboratory. He introduced new techniques and designed over 20 chemical instruments, like the cucurbit, crucible and retort for distillation. Al-Razi created a wide variety of new alloys and compounds. He was also well known for his study of sulfuric acid and his discovery of ethanol and its use in medicine as an antiseptic. He published widely as a physician and a chemist. His best known book, The Book of the Secret of the Secrets, was a precise guide to the practice of chemistry. Al-Razi's work also inspired the creation of synthetic substances and the early development of the synthetic chemical industry. One of Al-Razi's inventions, the kerosene lamp, brought light to one of the most glamorous cities of the world, Cordoba, Spain. With crude oil so readily available, Muslim chemists began distilling petroleum and then tar, laying down the first tarred roads in the city of Baghdad and giving to the world the energy that would fuel its future. The modern world was on the horizon and Muslim chemists were paving the way. Today, more than a thousand years later, we stand in a new house of wisdom, the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. And much of the advanced research being conducted here on solar energy, desalination, marine science, and many other subjects is only possible because of the pioneering work of great Muslim scientists. The torch has now been passed to a new generation of scientists who will shape the future of our world.